welcome to this video about how to take the protect code off of your Kenwood stereo. This method will work for several models. This model is a Kenwood KDC MP238. It will work for the Kenwood KDC 138 and the Kenwood KDC MP208. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the manual for these radios because it's the same manual for all three radios. After you do this method, you're going to need to reset the clock. And so I'm going to show you how to reset the clock in this video as well. So it's a very simple method to clear the protect mode code and what you need to do is just do a simple factory reset the way that you do that is you find the reset pinhole on your radio on some models you might want to find the uh, there's a button you can push up here to take remove the face plate once you remove the face plate you can look on here and you can see that there's sort of like this little indentation and your reset pinhole might be there or you can see that there's kind of like a hole right there and your reset pinhole might be in there but it wasn't behind the faceplate on my model on my model i found that the reset pinhole was right down here in the corner like i say you can take a paper clip but i like to use a bobby pin because it has this blunt tip on it that won't damage anything and i just spread the bobby pin apart all you do is just take that bobby pin and insert it in there and push it for a second and it'll reset it and it clears that code when that code is on there you are not able to do anything with the radio right now it's in standby mode and you can see that if i push this source button right here i can scroll through the different modes but when that protect error error message is on there you can't push any of these buttons it won't allow you to do anything now that we factory reset it we need to reset the clock and the way that you do that is you have to be in standby mode once you're in standby mode you go over here and you push boost button which is the menu button now on the mp238 it's going to say code set but on the 138 and the 208 it'll say clock adjust but since it says code set we're going to use this button here and scroll down until it says clock adjust once it gets the clock adjust you're going to use this middle button here and hold it in until the clock comes up and it starts flashing you're going to use these side to side buttons to set the minutes so i'm going to put it on about 15 and then you use the up and down to set the hour and i'm going to put it on 5 15. okay so now once that's set you go back down to the boost button which is the menu button and you click that now I'm going to show you how to also, if you go back over here to the source button and put it back on say standby, you can really be in any mode to do this. You don't have to be in standby to do this mode. You go back and push this button in for a second or two and it'll say display select. Source name means you can put it where it'll show that it's in standby or auxiliary or you can put it to clock and then, and then just push the clock button and the clock will appear. That way it'll show the clock now if this video helped you out any or if you liked the video then give me a thumbs up and click on the like button so it will show up in your favorite also subscribe to the channel and um, i'm going to be putting out another video that is going to show you how to set the code and clear the code um, on your mp238 and i'm going to put a link to that at the end of this video when it comes out and i'm also going to be putting a link to that in the description of this video when it comes out so thank you for watching